friends. Diane! Mr. Speaker. Diane, you are a vision. We should get out of the dance floor soon. Show these kids a thing or two. Get a picture in the papers. <laughs> I'm glad you found value in me. Well, your value will come, Diane. If you behave yourself in a conference tomorrow. Oh, I'll behave. No. She on the cha-cha. I read your paper, by the way, on the pollution laws. Really? Yeah, yeah. Bertie gave it to me. Very fine piece of work. Eye-opening. If there's one thing that should set aside politics, it's the environment. Oh, I agree, sir. Good you're on the team. Thank you. Mm. I like that. <laughs> I'm afraid Bertie's beating us all to the punch, sir. Well, what's what, Bertie? Does she scream or does she purr? <laughs> um, well, actually, I don't know. We haven't... She's got this thing. It's a three-month rule. Three-month rule? Uh -huh. There's no such thing. Well, yeah. Three-date rule. Uh, that's what I was saying to her, exactly. So, <clears throat> sir, Shelton was that insulting? Diane can insult me all she wants. I'm a big boy. It's this damn medal of hers gives her credibility. If she does not support this military package, her followers will not support it, and we lose. And if we lose, I look like a damn eunuch. I cannot lose. Then we should do something about that credibility. Maybe we should go Hoover on her. Whatever you think's best. <laughs> you are challenging the patriotism of those who question sending more of our troops unequipped without a defined mission into battle. I will not put my support behind any such bill that will result in so much needless death. Death is a function of war. <laughs> it is also sometimes the price of liberty. Sentiments easily spoken, Mr. Speaker, by someone who's never worn a uniform. Look, you signed a confidentiality agreement. I see. No, 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 Bertie, she's right. Miss Wilson is a big girl. She could have stood a dose of the truth, am I right? What happened, Mr. Speaker? What, did Diane Shelton not behave herself in the conference yesterday? Let me tell you something about the Honorable Diane Shelton of Arkansas. She's just like every other politician who's seen a little bit of combat. They get all soft and mushy. Well, I'm not going to let the Diane Sheltons of this country turn us into a girly nation afraid of its own shadow. Well, so drawing a good person isn't the answer. Oh! Oh, you have answers! Why don't you write me a paper on it? You know what? You don't, you, you, don't, you don't need to patronize me. Oh, but you just beg to be patronized, you and all your naive generation. You need to relax. Maybe you need uh, to let Bertie off the hook. What's the truth, Mr. Speaker? Did Shelton deserve the medal? What does it matter? You know, in the end, it really is just all about winning, isn't it? All about power. You are damn right. And you can be sure that I will obliterate my enemies. Because my enemies are the enemies of this country, whether they know it or not. These naive environmentalists, these peaceniks, they're dead in the gutter, just like Diane Shelton. You want to win? Fight the fight. I am going to fight the fight. I'm going to take your seat away from you, you son of a bitch. You don't deserve it. And how is that going to happen? I'm going to run against you, Mr. Speaker. God. You are adorable. 